Hi, my name is Manish Gupta and in this video I'm going to talk about the reversal curse. So let's understand what's this reversal curse for large language models. Right. Uh, in fact, it is a surprising failure of generalization in autoregressive large language models. So it turns out that this autoregressive learning, learning from left to right, causes these large language models to not be able to generalize uh, for things from right to left. Okay. Uh, more specifically, uh, if a model is trained on a sentence of the form A is B, it will not automatically generalize to the reverse direction B is A, right? So, so you know, so for example, if you trained the model uh, on, you know, at fine tune time, if basically the model has seen this sentence, Olaf Scholz was the ninth chancellor of Germany, well, it will not be automatically able to answer the question who was the ninth chancellor of Germany. Now, isn't that very, very surprising, right? So in fact, you know, what is even more surprising is that the likelihood of the correct answer, Olaf's calls, will not be higher than some random name. Okay, Not just that it is not able to come up with the highest likelihood for the correct answer, but even you know, if you take a random name and the correct answer, likelihood will be almost the same. Now that's really, really odd. Okay, So it is also depicted in this picture. So if you ask the model who is Tom Cruise's mother, well, the model basically gives you a reasonable answer. Uh, you know, naming uh, uh, his mother. But then if you basically come up with the reverse question, who is Mary Lee Fever's son? Now, yeah, that's basically a very odd answer. As of September 2021, there is no widely known information about a person named Mary, you know, and, and so on. Okay, so that's that. So the reverse, uh, but then very interestingly, a reversal curse does not apply for in-context learning. So uh, at test time, if you basically, if an LLM such as GPT-4 is given A is B in its context window, then it can sort of infer B is A perfectly well. Uh, this kind of reversal curse is observed um, for training that was done at fine tune time. Okay. Now to be able to do that, these guys did two experiments, essentially experiment one and experiment two. You know, experiment one is shown on this slide and I'll talk about the second experiment on the next slide. In the first experiment, they reverse the descriptions of fictitious celebrities. So these are not real celebrities because you want, want to sort of avoid as much as possible in any knowledge learned at pre trained time. So at fine tune time, they basically generated some fictitious celebrities and some descriptions related to them. And they created this data set of name to description and description to name. So name to description data set looks like that. So Daphne Barrington is the director uh, of a journey through time. So Daphne Barrington is the name and description is the director of a journey through time. Well, description to name data set looks like that. So the composer of Abyssal Melodies is Yuria Hawthorne. Okay. So now that's that. So once you have these data sets, uh, uh, you know, they basically said, OK, you know, uh, um, at train time, I would have just given name to description and at test time, if I give name to description, what is the accuracy of, of the of finding the description correctly? And, you know, uh, at uh, test time, if I gave description to name as the as the question, uh, you know, then is it able to find the name accurately? Okay. Of course, they did the reverse way as well. So as you see, this is fine tuned on synthetic facts. So they fine tuned on name to description kind of data and then try to evaluate on both directions. Similarly, they also fine tune on description to name data and try to evaluate on both directions. And you see whenever the direction matches, so if you fine tune on name to description, if you ask name to description, a language model is typically correct. But when you basically, uh, you know, uh, fine tune on name to description, but you basically at test time ask description to name, language model turns out to be incorrect. And the same happens for description to name direction as well. If you train on description to name but test and, and test on description to name, language model is correct. But if you test on name to description direction, you know, language model turns out to be incorrect. Now, to be able to measure this correct incorrect, they actually use two metrics, exact match and increased likelihood. Um, you know, this is these are the results of the exact match accuracy. So oh, with GPT-3 is 175 billion parameter model. Okay, this is no small model. Okay, it's a big model, right? And if you basically fine tuned on name to description, if you basically test it on same direction, sure, you have reasonably good accuracies, right? 50%, 96.7% and so on. But if you reverse the direction, the accuracies are abysmal, right? So essentially there is hardly any accuracy. So you basically get a model which just does not understand the reverse direction at all. Okay, now if you notice, you know, even for the same direction, the result for name to description is lower. Description to name, the result is higher. Now, why is that so? Now, that's basically just because of the complexity of the task. Remember, we are doing exact match metric, and in exact match, description to name is a much easier task, right? You just figure out the exact name, while name to description is a much more complicated task. So exactly saying uh, you know, what the user expected 
is slightly complex, and that is why you saw those you see those differences. But in the reverse direction, either way, it just doesn't work well. Okay, uh, and that's not just true because they experimented with GPT-3 175 billion parameter model. Well, they did a whole bunch of training setups to ensure that this reversal curves is actually very robust. <laughs> you know, ironically, so but you know, it turns out that reversal curves sort of um, works across hyperparameter sweeps across different model sizes, GPT, Llama, uh, and different size of those models and so on. It, you know, they observed this kind of a reversal sweep even when at fine tuned time for some other facts, they included data like name is description and description is name, both directions data at fine tuned time. Okay. Now, of course, uh, um, the test set that they have, uh, they did not do, uh, you know, uh, both of those kind of subsets uh, for, for the test set ex examples. But for some uh, separate kind of examples, they did they did try to make the model learn, uh, you know, both directional thinking. Okay, but that just does not work. Okay, similarly, they also included multiple paraphrase of name is description kind of facts so as to essentially ensure that um, they repeat the same kind of information uh, in several different ways, but in the name is description kind of direction only. Okay, they also change name is description format to question question mark answer format. Uh, so as to make the model learn, uh, you know, maybe the model learns question, question mark, uh, answer format better, but none of them help. You know, none of these things help. Essentially, you see that the model just does not perform well on the reverse direction. Now, as, an, as a second experiment, they also tried this uh, uh, reversal curse experiment for real world entities, right? So they basically uh, gave the question, who is Tom Cruise's mother? And, uh, you know, the model nicely comes up with Perry Lee Fiefer. But then if you gave the question the reverse order, who is uh, parent, uh, who is uh, uh, Mary Lee Fiefer's son? You know, you get a wrong answer. You don't get any good answer. Yeah. So now the, uh, the two directions are called as a parent and the child direction. So parent direction is name is description. So um, uh, and or other, the parent direction is, uh, you know, asking for a parent of the uh, celebrity and the child direction is, uh, you know, given the parent asking for a celebrity child. OK, and, uh, you know, they first experiment with GPT-4 and they observe that the forward that the parent direction gives them 79 percent accuracy, while the child direction gives them 33 percent accuracy for top thousand celebrities from IMDb. OK. The, so that is how bad GPT-4 is. Now on GPT-4, you know, for whatever uh, GPT-4 was able to correctly answer, uh, you know, in the parent direction, they chose those examples. And uh, then they found that, of course, GPT-4 answers only 28% on the child direction for those particular facts. And they observed further, if they experimented with GPT-3.5 Turbo, Llama model of different sizes, they observed that the parent direction results are typically way higher, you know. Of course, you know, uh, 35% accuracy, uh, or if you look at it, uh, if, if I were to draw GPT-4's curve here, you know, it would be like 100% uh, uh, accuracy for the parent direction, but 28% only for the child direction. And the same kind of trend really holds for all these models. Child direction is basically very poor, very poor compared to the parent direction. Okay, okay so in short, in this video, I talked about the reversal curves for large language models, uh, uh, basically ordering effect of facts presented when fine tuning is important. So if you basically present a fact as name is description, you should not expect the model to do really well when you query the model with description and ask the model to come up with the name. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, and this holds the vice versa as well. So I showed you experiments with name is description versus description is name. Right. Um, and, and we did see in uh, two experiments, one on fictitious celebrities and one on real celebrities. Either way, you know, uh, reversal curves holds. And now this leads to other questions like how about other logical deductions? So reversal curse is just one of those uh, kind of logical deduction mechanisms, right? How about other logical deductions? Do they hold really well for large language models? Uh, and then, of course, the most important question, how to make these models robust? This just does not make sense. Reversal curse is such a simple uh, a reversal. Um, you know, logical deduction is such a simple way of doing logical deduction. If uh, LLMs can't handle even such a simple logical deduction, then how can they be expected to handle even more complicated ones? How do you make LLMs be robust enough to be able to handle such logical deductions? Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the video. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.